Let's also look at how we can pass data from our second screen back to our first screen. And therefore I have created also here on our second screen an elevated button with the name return data. And if we click on this button, then we want to go back to the previous screen. And this is what you can do with this pop method. And here inside of this method, you can then pass some data back to the first screen. So you can put here a string inside, a number or any object that you want to pass back to your first screen. And now we can go back to our first screen and here we can basically then retrieve this data. And therefore you need to change it here first of all to async and also await here the value from our second page. And now we get here inside of this new value field, the value that we have passed here from our second page. So we basically get here exactly this value. And now we can simply take this new value from our second page and put it inside of the value of our first screen. So let's try it out. I click here on return data and now you see here the data of our second screen on our first screen. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.